you know, I just had to come on here and tell you, ladies, a lot of times that you think that you're afraid of men and like what a man is going to do to you, chances are they're a lot more afraid of what you can do to them or what you could say to them to break them down. You know, um, men are often afraid of losing you. They're afraid of losing your admiration and your trust. And they're, they're afraid of losing that confidence that you give them, you know. And when they lose that, they'll settle for your hatred. And then when they lose your hatred, that's when it's time to pull out the strap. And that's when it's time to peg a nigga so far up his ass that his intestines come out his motherfucking mouth. And just in all of it, you know, like in all of it, because I mean, when you think about it, like, what are, we, what are we fighting over? This isn't like some fucking like $50 billion asset. This is a fucking record. You know what I mean? It might be like, of course, yeah, you're hiding money. We know you're hiding money. But as it states, it's like, you know, maybe like $2, 3000000 million. $2, 3000000 million. And you're a nigga that has seen way more than $2, 3000000 million throughout your fucking career. You know, I've seen way more than $2, 3000000 million on my whole fucking career. So you have to sit back and think, like get in the mind of the wife, like, like, babe, you really beefing with this girl over, like, a couple million dollars? Like, is it really that serious? It's not about the money. It's not about the fucking money. He's, like, Jeff is a white man in America. He could go and make, he could open a hamburger stand and go make millions and millions. You could open up them hamburger stands and flip them patties, put a little pickles, a special sauce, extra lettuce, cheese on that. You know what I mean? Get your home with a good burger on franchise that shit you know you can be the new texas roadhouse whatever you want to do whatever you want to do but you want to sit in one spot and ruminate and like you're actually going out of your way to like spend money to hire fake cops and like stage shit and lie and do all this other stuff like it, it, it at this point is definitely not about the money you're obsessed with me you're fucking obsessed with me and if your wife is not smart enough to see that you're fucking obsessed then I don't know, then maybe she has like very low self-esteem or maybe maybe she sees you as like a ticket. I don't know. Like shit, you know, people do that shit where they marry for citizenship all the fucking time and they just put up with whatever bullshit, whatever bullshit white, white man craziness because they just don't want to be where they're from, you know? But it's like, sis, you already got the anchor baby. If you don't slide off on this nigga and become the shawarma queen girl... And open up the sh the Sharma Queen restaurants. Go go get your ass a job at fucking Zango Chicken. Go do something. Do something. Do something better with your life. Cause I I know you gotta be looking at this nigga and feeling insecure, feeling stupid, feeling dumb. It would never be me. Not over no not over no fucking record. Not over no nah, nah. Because the way the way the way. Jeff is about to get his ass handed to him in this trial. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like a landmark music case. And a lot of girls, a lot of artists are going to really get insight into how these sorts of, how, how these like things happen. You know what I mean? And that's another reason why this like Web3 smart contract like technology, but like all this shit on the blockchain is going to be so fucking important. So fucking important going forth because... When you're doing contracts just with paper, you know, niggas lie, niggas go back and they like add other things into the contract and then they, then they present that in court as evidence and all type of shit like that. Nah, I highly advise, I don't care what, what the contract is for. Get it on, the, get a smart contract, put that shit on the blockchain so that shit is immovable. Like nobody could change it and it is what it is. And that's, that, that's, that's the only thing that, can stand up in court like the legislation has to change because this is stupid it's stupid it's messy and you always get caught well sometimes sometimes these niggas don't get caught you know but i'm a bloodhound i sniff i, I could smell bullshit a mile away and all these people like all these scooter bronze and jeff quatnetses and all these like corny ass niggas y'all gotta realize that Maybe you think that you're, like, teaching a bitch a lesson, but no, we can see through it. Like, no, it's, it's a form of intimacy for you. You know, I don't know. Maybe you got mommy issues or something. This is a, it's a form of intimacy for you. Like, 
quarreling, fighting, all that other shit is ill. And it's not healthy for you. You know, for a while, for a while, when a woman is confused, she could, like, yeah, could really, like, wreak have like havoc on just her body, her mind, or everything. But then when she snaps out of it, it's like, ew, this nigga love me. You fucking love me. Get, ew. This is weird. You know, they say there's a thin line between love and hate, but, like, yeah, hatred, anger, fighting, all that shit is a form of in-